Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. How are you? It's been a while since we did this. Bright didn't know that Czech was a language. Shut up. Maybe she didn't know Czechoslovakia was a country. Oh my, I knew it was a goddamn country. I just didn't know it was a Czech was a language. God damn it. Anyways. <laughs> We should probably right, literally oh. like I like genuinely like genuine question, Bry. So you go to ask like first you ask the question uh or like first you mention wait this isn't Latin, this is Czech. Okay. So you clearly in in some capacity saw that the language of Czech was mentioned. And then after that, you ask, wait, is Czech a language? Yeah, yeah, we, we know. I, I know, Bookworm. <laughs> I know Czechoslovakia isn't, doesn't exist. It's Czech Republic. <laughs> Czech Republic. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, like I was about to say, we should probably explain the tears. Because we haven't done this in a while. We have reassign, yeah. which means it should no longer be a keter. I forgot what I am guessing. What the fuck is like? Why the fuck is this a keter? I I think what the fuck is just where we put generally confusing things. Yeah, I forgot what spoo tier is. Else. Well, just okay. You two talked at the same time. What was said? What, what I I forgot what spoo tier was. Tears for uh good being SCPs. Yeah, anyway, we got only one and only fix person one person at a time. Or it anomaly goes after a certain group and a certain group. Cities so forth the con country and continent. World changing, it will change the world but not destroy it. SK destroy the world, ZK destroy reality. There we go. Perfect explanation. Motherfucker forgot what food tier is. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways. The the first SCP is what I'll be reading. It's SCP-2233. Also known as Sociophy. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Me and Hedge don't know what it's actually as I said. Because <laughs> I asked them they don't know either. Well, I, I said that I'm pretty sure that's how it would be pronounced. Yeah. So see off. So, so, so. so it's, fuck. It's such a hard word. Sociosophy. Maybe something like sociosophy. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> SCP-2233 is an academic discipline. Oh, wait. Before I continue. Uh, I did post a picture of the SCP in the chat. The voice chat. I forgot. No, okay. Yeah. Called Sociosophy. Manifesting through SP-2233-1 instances and, and dash 2 events. SCP-2233-1 is a book labeled Polylog, Over the Horizon of Postmodern Relativism. Published by the, the Club Friends of so Sociosophy in Prague, Czech Republic in 2014. The others are listed as STBB, Email Fantastic, Bass, WTAN, <laughs> Herbert Muncy, DMBS, at DMBS, Martin Perklopa, and Collective. I butchered the entire sentence there. <laughs> It is unclear if all the authors are real persons, as only a few had been seen during the Johidea events. Unconfirmed authors include Redacted. The book contains theories as pseudo-academic subjects such as polylog as an improvement of conversing problemology as a discipline concerning various life issues or neon platonism as a religiously philosophical wait, wait, practice. What's that word? Neon ovo 
Platonism. How do you spell that? I want to look that up. It, it's neon. O V O P L A T O N ism. Wait, what's after the P L A? P L A T O N ism. Right, you're describing Platonism. Neoplatonism? Yes. It's Neoplat. Oh my god. It's Neon right. Ovo. There's Ovo in there after Neon. Neoplatonism was a philosophical movement inaugurated by Plotinus. Oh, that's old. Which reinterpreted the ideas of ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Oh, Plato. Platonism. That's why it's called that. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's named after Plato. Yeah. Pla so it's Neoplatonism. Okay. But there's like also a Novo in there somewhere. Yeah. So what would Neo Novo mean? Who knows? I guess we'll find out if we keep reading. Anyways. Probably. As a religiously philosophical practice, the practice of the discipline seem, seems nonsensical unless affected by the presence of associated persons of interest. Uh, the anomalous properties of SCP-2233-1 manifest when placed in proximity to other paper media. About After about three to five hours, the media start to mention so Sophie in various forms. For example, newspaper headlines mentioning recent So Sophie breakthroughs. The existing content of the media is also modified, for example, in the work of redacted. A bibliography entry Falcult, Michael, The Hi History of Sexuality, Volume 2, The Use of Pleasure. Vintage Books, New York, 1990 was changed to Moonsey Herbert, Sexuality and Sociosophy. Volume 1, Practice uh, Epistemophilia, Excrementum Bovinium, Little Hill, starting, 2002. What? I'm starting to really think I should have been the one to read this. I told you there is like a bunch of shit you didn't want me to read. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, initially notebook was found, but after a redacted hour exposition of the history of sexuality, volume 2, to SCP-2233-1, the contents of Foucault's book have been completely altered to a new anomalous publication described above. Wait, hold on. Novo means new, so Neo-Novo Platonism is new, new Platonism. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> That, that is not lost on me. <laughs> Neo, no vote. New, new. New, new. Yes. Anyways, affected okay. yeah. media exhibit the same anomalous properties as SV2231. 3 1 instances. Alright. Here, I'm going to read. I'm going to read uh, some of these because there's a bunch of them. But anyways, author slash title, Ren Fru Cullen, Prehistory, the Making of Humankind. Des description, author surveys the contextual world of prehistorical man before written records were made. Modified author and title, Umbrell Peter, History on the, on the Couch. <laughs> description of the modified book, the author describes prehistorical inventions in a jovial style Calling the man who was first found fire, and the man who invented a wheel as the first proto socio -fist. Oh no. Oh what, no. What? what? <laughs> Author such title Hitler Adolf Mein Kampf. Oh dear. <laughs> Scripture. Description. An autobiographical book describing the world through the views of national socialistic ideology. <laughs> Modified author and title. Lise Frederich with Hammer Towards Philosophers. 
Description of the Modified Book. A 19th century German philosopher des describes the uselessness of philosophy in a secular society. So wait, so they let the the anomaly change a copy of Mein Kampf yes. to one of the instances of the anomaly? Yes. Okay, there for a second I thought it was saying that the anomaly included Mein Kampf, and that would like immediately like <laughs> yeah, bump I'm up its danger it level. Not, I am glad I'm glad my first guess was wrong. I am so Yeah, anyways. The last uh instance I'll read is author such title The Brothers Grimm, Rapunzel. Description a children's book publicly known best for the moment where a princess trapped in a in a tower, hangs her long hair from a window, a prince climbs up on it to get to her. Modified author slash title, Lapsky Alexander, Tree Kids. Description of the modified book. The main story is similar to Rapunzel, but reads as a scientific demonstration of a discipline called intellectual bonification. The princess uses her time in the tower to practice said discipline, which is never described, only cited from secondary sources. The prince meets her on the level of the right substratum. That's magic. New SCP... A new 2231-1 instances have been discovered inside publishing houses and during SCP-2233-2 events. The publishers take SCP-2233-1 as a satirical book, ignoring its anomalous properties. SCP-2233-2 is a designation for lectures on various disciplines of sociosophy so 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 by people who read SCP-2233-1 or attend a-2 event in the past. These occur mainly in college environments such as universities, mensas, or fraternities. Dash one instances are often given out during these lectures. Hold on. I accidentally lost my place. Oh god. Uh oh. What's an auto lecture? What? Auto lecture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm asking because of the modified version of Shakespeare. Uh, and it uh, has yeah. an auto lecture in the the performance. Neat. Hmm. Anyways, you know, pers persons of interest associated with SB2233 appear in average 60% of the lectures, consulting a Johadia event when a copy of 2233-1 is signed by the persons of interest, the efficiency of the book's anomalous properties have been shown to increase by redacted percent to redacted percent, including increased speed of infection and range of influence. Uncontained SV2233-2 events constitute a major containment breach in a fault and check amount to and IK class end of the world scenario information breakdown. No pattern of in the frequency and location of, of 2233 2 has been established. Yeah. Anyways, I will now read a report of event SCP 2233 2 1 event. On Redacted 2014, the first Johidea event took place in Redacted Redacted Prague, a college cafe, as per O. Toma and J. Vosjowski, members of Lambada 2 unit, present point of interest, Emil Franceschi and Martin Priklopa announced the event as a Morning's supposition concerning the death of Basque WTAN Herbert Munsey, who fell from the window of his study on a rock garden riddled with house sleek per capitam. During the event, several points of interest had brief lectures on disciplines of sociophy 
during which several reality bending phenomena were observed to take place. This S2233 2 event also celebrated a release of SCP 2233 1 to the public. Access denied. Uh. The event helped constitute the parts of Procedure Stinks Lethe Acarion and Agents Tuma and Bashevsky were voluntarily administered Class C Unestics after action. Uh. Anyways, lastly, transcript of Lecture 01 8. Oh, auto lecture, as performed by Point of Interest Mart Martin Prelopa on Redacted, 2014. I can't believe you just mispronounced transcript. Shut up. I can. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> I like to see... Hold on, hold on, auto lecture. Yes. I'd like to say hi to fellow fans of Su Sufi. My name is Martin Prigalopa. Gone are the old days where you had to listen to boring pedagogue for an hour and a half, sometimes even more. I'm going to show you how to perform an auto lecture through which you can make your own decisions on any social sophisticated subject you find interesting, with my example being on God. Oh. You need to cite the audio lecture in a form of liturgic song with the least amount of aspirations as possible. Stand in front of a mirror, have a fern Nysheen mustache put on, and, and scent the whole room with a frankincense. Redacted. Attach those two creations on the mirror so you can see both of them in your peripheral vision. And the view of you is not obscured. 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 Shut up. One of the things I said is literally put your mustache on. <laughs> Explore yourself thoroughly. Begin a recitation and observe your every reaction. This is the part where I'm probably going to be clipped a couple times. <laughs> oh, I God. How. How. How you are so immense. Maybe no speak of truth that had ever been spoken about you. God is a human mock-up. God is a historical need which needs to be cherished and thrown away. And to have looked the truth in the face. The world is nor good nor evil. The world is the way we make it. God does not exist. God is that then which nothing higher can be convinced. We must be grateful to God for all the gifts that are now part of the highest gift of life. God does not exist. God blesses through damnation. Wait, which God... one is he? Is God the human Mecca, or is he dead, or is he blessed? I don't know. I'm just reading it. <laughs> God is God is a godless abstraction. It seems we are trapped. Maybe the whole world is affected by God's absence. The most God is a mind freed of matter. He is in every one of us. God is the warranter of the method. In the beginning, there were two gods, or three. One good, one evil, one redacted. Human is God. God is God. God is man. God does not exist, said the evil God. God knows who's God. Does God know if God is not just an explosion of a mind? God exists, said the good God. God is energy, God is nature, God is reason, God is love, God is all said redacted, God is nothing, God is no thing, God, God is good for nothing, God is an ontological field, God is a failed student of theology, God is a, is the best in us. It seems is God on drugs? I, I don't know. It it seems there's a high probability of God existing. God makes me not see God. God is jealousy loving. You cannot find God. God in reason, God is the deepest layer of my spirit, God talks to me through my conscience, God has internalized morality, God has, has made when the imperfect consciousness was made, God is an unconscious part of mind, God was created upon Adam biting into the apple, God's prophet was a snake, could our consciousness have been created in any other way than by God is unexplainable, wonder God is is the snake god gives motion to life is order god both outrages and frightens said redacted 
God does not exist, said the good God. God is just a dream. God talks through dreams. God is a real is, is a dream. God is reality. Some people are frightened of sleeping as a dream can also redacted. Whether God is creation of a, of a God or man, we are unable to control it. You need to believe there is no God and it will not and it will not be. God can be. Stigmata are as common as medieval times as the GDP right rise in our society. To think God is only good requires sufficient mental not saying that word. No matter God's nature, he does not deserve any of us to die for him. Maybe God cannot do anything at all, but what if God died for a man? Philosopher's God is the same as no God. If God is not, not so unreachable, why is he such a bitch? God is reality. God is all God, God is nothing. God is nothing. God is a dream. God is redacted, 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 dead, expunged. Oh God, how are you so immense? Maybe, maybe speak no, tr no speck of truth has have ever been spoken about you. And that was it. So let's actually take. Let's actually take a quick moment to clap. I think Bright actually self-censored a slur. Yeah, it's mental R word. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I was guessing that's what it would be. Good, good like, job. You, you didn't it's... just keep flowing and say the slur this time. Yeah, I, I saw mental and I looked over and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Also, I think uh, Bookworm kind of summed up very well what that weird speech you read very well meant, and what Neo, Neo what new new Platonism is, is uh, he's everything and nothing. I could have just said that, but it went all weird and crazy, and he read it very well, but that was weird. I couldn't even understand the, what the final message was. What the fuck? I just read. So, let, let me just like try to figure this out. So, the auto lectures in, in being described are basically esoteric rituals done to give oneself a lecture on this bullshit pseudoscience field that gradually takes over other pieces of literature. So putting that aside, it basically already gave us our tier uh, by mentioning that it could be a uh, information breakdown end of the world scenario. So I would say that that would be world changing. Yeah. Yeah. The world ain't destroyed. The world ain't destroyed. Humans are still around, but they're whatever the fuck that was. They're they're new new plato platoism. Wait, that's so, a... Yeah. I feel like this is the most pretentious world changing SCP we've run into. <laughs> it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. I had to look up Nova just because I was like, okay, why the fuck is this word here? It's added for a reason. New, new. New, no. new. Well, it's only one new, but you know. Oh, it looks like the next, next SCP um, actually got its classification changed. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I went to Euclid with moderate containment difficulty. What's its number? Oh, wait a minute. God damn it, I was looking at the wrong number. <laughs> eh. So do I read this one? Yeah, I was looking at 2237 instead of 2238. <laughs> Dingus. I was one number off. All right, Hatchet Ears is going to be broadcasting live from out of time. I'm sorry, what? And this is... It's classification changed from safe to cheater. 
Oh, uh, yeah, it did. I sent I a picture of the anomaly as well. Give me a sec, I just realized I forgot to do something. Did I send it to you? No, I don't. I don't think I did. I just put it in the voice chat. Oh, you did? Okay. So hatchet has it. That's all I need to know. Okay. <laughs> Booker says, "OMG, I think hatchet is perfect to read this SCP." <laughs> You're now waiting on the hatchet. Yeah, I forgot that the new friend that I mentioned asked me to let them know when we went live. Ah, okay. Life. I thought, uh, new window. Okay, so where's the link? Uh, Jerry put in voice chat. The voice chat. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That picture. Mm hmm. Are you okay? I think that's the talks that had Stalin. Uh, Churchill and Roosevelt come together, but Stalin's replaced with Trotsky. Who's that? Uh, the... Okay, this is a complicated little bit of history. Basically, uh, when the Russian Revolution uh, went through and the Bolsheviks took power, the uh, Stalin was at the primary, like, the primary leader. No, not Stalin. I mean, Lenin. Lenin. Underneath Lenin was Leon Trotsky and Joseph Stalin. Mm -hmm. Lenin preferred, like, specifically wanted Trotsky to take over upon his death. But Stalin pulled some political shenanigans and managed to get... Trotsky exiled, and then inevitably Trotsky got assassinated by a guy with an ice pick in Mexico. What but the fuck? Point being, yeah. I think yeah. this I think this is an alternate you I think this is an alternate timeline based upon that one picture where Trotsky actually takes power in the USSR. I mean that is I, I mean that that's very much past when knowing SP universe. Just read the SCP, says book. That's fair. Okay. So do you just, like... I just go, go from straight... description down, yeah. Yeah, okay. You, just, you don't do the special containment procedures? Yeah. Okay. It counts for this. Okay. Then I shall read. Description. SCP-2238 is the official designation of an anomalous phenomenon phenomenon primarily affecting television broadcast stations in the southern United States, manifesting itself as a series of historical documentaries within the affected area. This phenomena affects specific time slots within the affected region by hijacking local TV transmitters through a currently unknown method. <coughs> Burp. Okay. The main broadcast intrusion, uh, intrusion occurs during the airing of historical documentaries. The types of documentary that SCP-2238 affects are primarily made by European or American filmmakers, specifically those that focus on the First and Second World War. 
although it has been reported that SCP-2238 will affect others that do not fall into this category. During an intrusion, SCP-2238 will play a similar documentary to the one being interrupted. This documentary, now known as SCP-2238-A, will have several deviations from the original, such as different events, different historians, and actors used in the documentary. I just noticed that we've got footnotes. Uh, footnotes, footnotes. A footnote there is, if said documentary includes dramatization to the actors. The amount of deviations from the original vary between each instances of SCP-2238-A. Currently, there are 22 instances of SCP-2238-A. And then footnote that says, it is currently unknown how many unrecognized or unrecorded instances of SCP-2238-A. There are some estimates going as far as into the thousands while more conservative estimates go into the hundreds. Okay, the first reported SCP-2238 event was on the f on oh, 5-12-1992. I'm so bad at this. That's May. That's literally the month that we're in and I forgot. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, Robin. That's the friend I mentioned. Welcome in. Okay. Uh, where the fuck was I? Right. Okay, so the first recorded SCP-2238 event was on... That startled me. Who was there? Oh, hey, Adarna. Me. Okay. Uh... Fuck, there goes my plate. Okay. SCP-2238 event was on May the 12th, 1992, when a civilian reported a local broadcast service about the inaccuracies of the documentary Napoleon Man of Power in Redacted Alabama. Uh, let's see. Footnote says uh, that's designated specifically SCP-2238-A-19. I don't know much about it. Happy to listen. That's just voice of Q. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, okay. what? Uh, Robin Drox in the chat was saying something. Yeah, there's a person in the chat. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the documentary discusses the effects of Napoleon Bonaparte's annexation of Russia and over a majority and over a majority of the Eurasian continent. Addendum 2238-1. Foundation scientists and analysts have compiled a full timeline of events from all 22 instances of SCP-2238-A. Little information is known about this world post-1946. So let me... Okay, so... Okay, this is going to get fun. Uh... I okay, guess so here's a timeline of events. 1812, invasion of Russia by Napoleon the First, ending in its annexation. The War of 1812 begins. 1813, Napoleon the Third is installed as the new Tsar of Russia. Closer diplomatic ties between the U.S. government and the new French Empire occur. The Peninsular War ends one year earlier in French victory. Uh, 1814, France becomes involved in a war against Great Britain. Great Britain. A three-year famine occurs in Russia due to an early winter, creating more resentment against the French-installed Russian government. In the same year, the formation of the party of Russian nationalists occur. I'll have to I'll have to actually read what's going on in chat after. Uh where was I? Okay. 1815. War of 1812 ends with a US French victory 
Most of the former British Empire is split between the U.S. and France. U.S. annexes Canada, ca causing it to control most of the fur trade. No! What the heck? I don't... <laughs> Damn it. Don't take Canada. We need our hat. Okay. And the maple syrup. Well, I guess it's literally ours now, but I, I prefer it being two different things so that we have a hat. <laughs> I mean, technically, the U.S. also has maple syrup, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the largest the... crater of maple syrup in the United States is Vermont, I think. Huh. Eat. Yeah, but does the U.S. have, uh, my brain just died. Whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm done trying to make that joke. Moving on. <laughs> okay, 1816 to 1820, the U.S. government begins encouraging... I was, I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a joke. Uh, do we have, um, horses? Or maple leaves? There. Hey, Canada is not the U.S.'s hat. The U.S. is our dumpster fire of pants. Valid. Okay. Uh, the U.S. government begins encouraging its citizens to settle Canada. Only in the first begins conquering most of mainland Europe, dismantling their governments in favor of pro-French ones. The French government start to kill Russian nationalists and those for an independent Russia. The French Empire collapses due to the death of Napoleon I, the assassination by nationalists during his first visit to Russia, a revolution referred to as the Russian upheaval occurs. No, Napoleon III is killed and replaced with a descendant of Tsar Alexander. Oh, and I forgot to say that's 1821. Okay. 1822 to 1850 most of the northern and western europe most of northern and western europe experiences a dark age due to significant infighting between various factions following the death of napoleon the first central and eastern europe are divided between pro and anti-french forces primarily ending in anti-french victory further deteriorating the already fracturing French Empire. Southern, uh, Southern Europe was primarily affected by this as the lack of uh, major Austrian and French interference in the region allowed radicals and Italian nationalists to gain power. A new Russian government is created, this time with a system similar to a constitutional democracy Along the same time, Great Britain experiences great social unrest with several riots and attempted revolution. 1850 to 1865. A new government is finally established in France, this time under the control of a queen known as Abella I the daughter of an anti-Napoleon general. She reestablishes centralized authority in the mainland of France, creating a dictatorial police state, killing dissenters and radicals. The mm. American Civil War does not change from the original timeline. Uh, 1866 to 1911. Abella I reigns control over most of pre-1812 territorial borders, excluding the Duchy of Warsaw, but her state continues to suffer from radicalism and independence movements. The Russian government undergoes another revolution, this time by Russian communists under the control of Vladimir Lenin and Leon Trotsky. Revolution ends in 1910 wow. with a communist victory. 1912. The House of Commons of Great Britain is attacked by radical communists via improved explosive. Oh, improvised explosive. 
Over 100 members of par Parliament are killed in the explosion, resulting in a temporary suspension of constitutional rights and annual elections. During this time, the new communist government, now calling itself the Soviet Union, annexes most of Eastern Europe states not under French influence. The creation of oh, 1913, the creation of the Allied powers, an alliance between the U.S., Great Britain, Austrian, and the French government. <clears throat> its creation was due to the recent territorial expansion from the Soviet government of most of Eastern Europe. 1914 to 1924. This time period, known as the Great War, was a war between the Soviet government and the Allied powers. It began after the assassination of Vladimir Lenin with Leon Trotsky de shit. declaring got possible, a new uh, bleh, possible French involvement in Lenin's assassination. By 1914, a small border skirmish between the client state of the Rhine Confederation and the Soviet Union oh. lead to another war. The U.S., U.K., and Austria, honoring their agreement with the French, declared war on the Soviets. Following heavy casualties on both sides, the Soviet, the, the Soviet Union capitulated in 1924 after a victory near what is now modern-day Warsaw. The Treaty of Berlin stated that the Soviet Union would give up most of its territorial gains after 1912, replaced with either French client states or independent countries. In addition, the Soviet Union is forced to pay reparations either in gold or oil. Thanks for, thanks for the follow. E. Thank you for following, Robin. The following is a bright. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. 1929. An event known as the Great Depression... <laughs> began causing an economic crash. That's good to see that that didn't change timelines. Due to this event, Albella II, the Queen of France, desperate for economic wealth, convenes for an update to the Treaty of Berlin with the Allied powers to the exclusion of the Soviet Union. Austria and Great Britain refused to update the treaty without the inclusion of the Soviet Union, while the U.S. remained officially neutral still wary over another possible war. Despite repeated claims from the Soviet government that they had sent diplomats to Berlin to huh, discuss updating the treaty, they never arrived. The evidence suggested a possible French intervention. Abella II, frustrated with this diplomatic dysfunction, began mobilizing her forces along the Soviet borders despite objections from her military advisors. 1930. Austria and the UK, wishing to avoid another great war, attempt to persuade the US to intervene. Believing that, with a possible forefront war, the French Empire would back down from their threats. The US, still wary of war and suffering from the Great Depression, refused and remained neutral in the conflict. 1930-1945. Abella II, citing a belief in the supremacy of the French Empire and the inherent necessity of curtailing further attempts at Soviet expansion, declares war against the Soviet Union. The Second World War between 1931 and 1937 is at a constant stalemate. There is no full invasion of either country till the U.S. enters the war against the French. In 1939, a full invasion of France begins with the help of the Soviet Union, Great Britain, and Austria. It ends in 1945 with the invasion of Paris, destroying most of the city. 1946, year of the creation of the United Nations, with the Soviet Union, the U.S., Austria, and Great Britain as the major leaders in the nation. Little information is known about this world past 1946. Yes, yeah, so it's the Great Depression wasn't that depressing next to the time the Black Plague. So yeah, it's literally just an alternate universe where instead of Hitler, 
It's some French lady named Abella the <laughs> Second. Yeah, that's definitely an interesting alternate timeline. Wait, so actually, does that mean that the French it, it would be the <laughs> the French party robot instead of the German party robot? Oh God, shut up! <laughs> oh my God, about that weird alternate there's, timeline. There's also no mention of like an actual genocidal. Well, I guess I should avoid that word for Twitch. Big G word aside, our uh, camps. Yeah, like yeah. there's no mention of that. Yeah, but the anti-Semitism and stuff weren't mentioned. So, I'm. There's also no mention of nuclear war weapons. So there might. Yeah. That might have. They might not have. So, they might have had a nuclear. A uh, new a nuclear thing where they die all <laughs> died. Well, just remember, it, it, these are just a summary of the timeline. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like I. Well, then again, let's just be frank. They're we're talking about history documentaries airing in Alabama. They probably would leave out bigotry <laughs> as a point of discussion. <laughs> but yeah. um, at the very least, I think it's fair to say, based upon the information we have, it doesn't look like. Uh, the French Empire, like it, it basically seems as if like large scale fascism just didn't develop in this timeline at this point, which is uh very preferable actually. Oh, anyway, I looked further mm. ahead. Someone they gets fucked. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I just I just saw the Global Occult Coalition mentioned. Yeah, this is gonna get bad. Okay, let me take a drink. Whenever I see the Global Occult Coalition, I think of the chair. <laughs> I'm French... sorry. <laughs> I know, but also French created World War II, but no camps, no crazy stuff. French are at least nicer about their evilness. Oh, so yeah, I, I was gonna... I forgot to mention that. There was no Japan involvement in World War II, so it's very Europe-centric thing looking at so either these documents yeah. documentaries are just like like i guess that's the thing we're looking we're looking at this alternate timeline from an extremely narrow lens to where mm -hmm. like they're very specifically talking about the events in a specific region rather than world events so it we could, know it, we we know fuck all what's going on okay. with japanese imperialism okay also one, one thing yeah i think if we like take a look at that, um, it could mm -hmm. possibly be for based. So it could be, be like a quote unquote documentary from a from like a eugenicist because there were there were eugenicists who like or something like that. Who like yeah, very like. very like based in the quote unquote west yeah true mm -hmm. uh so germany just chill af in this alt timeline germany is chill af because they're controlled by the french i think it would be implied that germany is like basically a part of the austrian part by the way everyone in that vc is cute sorry not sorry thank you robin uh but yeah, I think it would be implied. I'm There's a difference. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it would be implied that um, Germany was actually uh, a part of the Allies against the French in this timeline. You can be both bright. I mean, yeah, you can be both sexy and cute. No. <laughs> anyway. Okay, moving on, there's still, like, a little bit of this document to read. Addendum 2238.2. On, oh, is that January 23rd, 2000, SCP-2238 affected the city of Redacted, Louisiana, broadcasting a documentary entitled How They Hid in the Darkness. Uh, uh, uh Let's see. 
that footnote says that that documentary is designated uh, 2238A23. Uh, which describes a X-class lift of the veil scenario of the foundation due to increasing tensions between the foundation and the global occult coalition, specifically on an event that occurred in 1221, uh, December 21st, 1991. It also focused on how the foundation adapts to a scenario. Due to an error in the bin uh, pattern recognition system, uh, there was no uh, BPRS failure on this specific date in our timeline, it's saying. The foundation accidentally attacked a GOC base, ending in the death of over 3,000 GOC personnel. This event escalated tensions between the foundation and the coalition, causing an event called the GOC Foundation War that lasted three years. The contents of the documentary includes footage of Foundation agents locating, capturing, and containing several anomalous objects and entities. It includes interviews with French, with Foundation personnel and sapient entities, including an interview with, O5, with O512. The following is an incomplete list of incidents, objects, personnel, and members of G... GOIS that appear in the documentary. Uh, SCP-1892 containment, SCP-1928 containment. There's a lot of these I don't know. Uh, SCP. That was SCP-1938, not 28. Oh, did I say 28? Yeah, you said 28. <laughs> no, I meant 38. Sorry. Uh, SCP-2453 containment redacted interview. Dr. Mann interview, uh, D2134122 interview, so I guess they interviewed a D-class, uh, 0512 interview, SCP-2273 interview, which is, which is that? I forget which SCP that is. All right, anyway. Uh, member of the GOI... 5869 interview, which is also known as the Gamers Against We. Okay, uh, object referred to as SCP redacted. This item has yet to be discovered. Containment incident 083 D. Slash Kondraki. No information on this event exists in Foundation records. It's footage, footage of 051267 and 12 during their first meeting, circa 1912. SCP redacted documentary claimed the SCP redacted had been eliminated via redacted methods. Methods of execution for SCP redacted are still pending approval from the O5 Council. Following this incident, the entire country of redacted was given Class A amnestics over the course of five days. The elimination of all records of SCP 2238 A 23 and the detainment of over Redacted staff members involved in the film, uh, all released due to lack of evidence of involvement. All personnel involved with how they hid in the darkness deny any involvement with the documentary. The following is a series of transcripts from the documentary, How They Hid in the Darkness. Do we want to read through those excerpts or do we think we got enough? I'm kind of curious. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, okay. but anyways... For a quick example about game, uh, Gamers Against Weed, it's basically an organization that creates anomalies as practical jokes, and most of the time they end up being really, really bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I remember that. Oh yeah, GOI means group of interest. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say that too, GOI means group of interest. 
Yeah. Let's see. Especially, uh, let's see. Especially Hatchet, since they want to strap me to a rocket engine. Oh yeah, that came up in a, in 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 the stream that I was sitting in on. Previously, I was watching a stream with them and VC, and uh, the idea of a rocket-propelled Robin came up. Okay. Lots of reading. Okay. Uh, so here's some transcripts from that documentary. It was early in the morning when I first started hearing the artillery shells. I didn't know they were artillery shells at the time, just knew that something loud was going off. Got up and tried looking through the window in the distance. This building that I had passed by on my way to work was being burned to the ground. I always thought it was a barracks or a laboratory, if only I knew. Some men drag me and my daughters out of the house. They say they're with the coalition, a force trying to keep humanity safe. They tell us to get onto a bus to the nearest civilian safe zone. They take us to one and they force all the men and women above the age of 15, but not over 50, to come with them. I never saw my daughters again. Oh, God, what did the, what did the coalition do? Let's see. They, they have sacrificed children to kill anomalies before, so probably that. Yeah, so that was a survivor of Site 43 raid. Our job was to get the civilians out to the safe zones. Most didn't know what was going on, and the ones that did know, and the ones that did knew there was no point in trying to keep themselves safe. The case that always sticks out in my mind was this old man near the border of Paris. He refused to leave his house, lived in it since the second world war before the communists and brits invaded he couldn't get we couldn't get him to move when the coalition attacked the house was destroyed and he and we never found the body civilian protectorates paris france is that excerpt okay the reason we used amnestics during the war was because of their tactical usage Throwing some anesthetics in a can into a room filled with enemy combatants and have them all forget who they are for 10 or 20 seconds while you mow them down with M16. Simplistic, really. Bro! <laughs> Foundation General Kennedy. Why the fuck did they not use that in a real timeline if that's possible? Instead of just going in and fighting them. Or, or better, better yet, better yet, incapacitate them and don't shoot them. <laughs> like, we could just not commit war crimes. That's an option. It's the foundation. You would think they're gonna do that. <laughs> they're murderers, is what I think of them. The janitors, <laughs> all of them are fucking animals. I thought they were just boogeymen. Used to scare some normies and losers on the internet. No. Moscow. Moscow was my home. Moscow was the only safe place left in Eastern Europe. All others were destroyed in the battles, mostly by nukes and other weapons. I didn't think they had the balls to drop the anim that animal onto us, killing us with its giant scythe, butchering us all like insects. Bodies littered the streets. Men, women children. Of course, the Coalition had no choice. What other choice did they even have? Gamers Against Weed members, survivor of Moscow bombing. Hey, before you continue, I clicked Giant Sight to see what it would lead to. It goes to 076, aka Abel. They dropped Abel on them? Yep. <laughs> okay. I, I love, I love reading about the foundation alternate timeline where they engage in uh, absurd war crimes. Hedge, this is the second time we've read this. Uh, read foundation doing this. First on Japan yeah. with the emojis, now this. Oh no, yeah. 
Uh, at least this one is slightly, like, very slightly less fucked, because at the very least, this is like an active war zone, rather than just killing most of Japan because of fucking emojis. But anyway... Uh... Okay, you, uh... Private of the Foundation Air Force... Uh, says, Europe turned into an absolute hellhole during the first few months. The once spotless meadows was now covered with hundreds of large holes where the bombs and shells dropped. The larger ones were where we dropped the nukes on their sites. You could feel the radiation from up in the air, made some men so sick they passed out and crashed their planes. E. Jesus Christ, so the fucking Foundation Coalition War, like, escalated to the point of actual nuclear warfare. Jeez. You, you know, according to SP-001, uh, the Order of Our Cycle, a GOC agent has a switch that fi uh, has from the ship that's near Jupiter that'll fire a laser onto Earth. Because that was used to kill the broken god. They have that. <laughs> it's so far they have not used it. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, safe zone Brazil resident. There was never enough food for us. The coalition forced us to work the farms surrounding the safe zone. They had quotas for what we needed to produce in season. Each group needed to produce 10 pounds of food from each of the nine crops they gave us in the span of nine months. If we didn't produce that much, we were executed to send nine... Oh, we were expected, not executed, okay. We were expected to send nine months on the front... spend nine months on the front lines in Europe or America. We heard the horror stories, the bombings, the killings, this one guy, a bunkmate of mine, was told that his group didn't produce enough food. Brings tissued paper up to his eyes. We found him in the bathroom. He swallowed his shaving knife. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Hatchet goes burr with words. <laughs> yeah, so we found the camps. This time it's the GOC who made the camps. Are we at all surprised? <laughs> uh, Knowing Christ. the GOC, we're not surprised. They just kill anything that's anomalous. I don't think well, they're I will, surprised. I will say, when, when it, they first came up in this, I, I thought of the chair. Yeah. Um, this is worse somehow. Uh. So I would like to retract my previous statement about this timeline being better. <laughs> It's um, worse. It would be better if it just went on without the SCP and GOC being actual organizations in this world. I feel like in this timeline, the SCP Foundation became worse so they could take down the GOP, but it didn't work that way. Yeah. Yeah, basically at this point, it seems as if it... It, this is starting to sound basically just like two near fascist, at the very least totalitarian powers duking it out with each other, which is not fun. Oh God! GOC greater or less, or I I guess greater or worse than the Nazis? Not sure. Mm -hmm. I, they're equal yeah, we in know the terms of, of it. killing. <laughs> we don't know the extent of it. Yeah. yeah, we don't have enough information. So let's read on! Okay, uh, book says especially next interview. Oh dear. Of course we need... Okay, this is... Okay. Uh. Oh, oh dear. I'm just gonna read, like, what this is about first. 0514 on the disbandment of the Ethics Committee. Yeah, this is getting bad. As if the Ethics Committee had much of any uh, 
the fucking power as it is. Yay, fun camps, well, please. I, <laughs> actually, uh, a hatchet, there were times where ethics community had more power than O5 council and forced them not to do things. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. It yeah. feels like it feels like they're very wishy-washy yeah. and inconsistent. But, you know, the one check and balance <laughs> of, of the foundation is now gone, which is a lovely state of affairs. Okay. Yeah. Of course we need to remove them. They were getting in the way with all their rules and regulations. We needed those weapons. The coalition were making their way to Britain and into the Gulf, but no. They said it was too unethical. They were in the way of progress, and we had no other choice. We sent in a coalition spy, quote-unquote, to kill them. Hmm? Oh, yes, they knew too much. We couldn't allow an information breach of some sort. Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Uh, Dr. Man on the use of SCP-008 for biological warfare. What's... Wait, am I remember what 008 is? Uh, it, I believe it's probably the, the zombie disease. Uh, let's see, a description. Complex prion samples of which are stored. Oh, yeah, geez, this is, this is the zombie disease. They, they fucking dropped the zombie virus on people. Now, is it the... You know what? In, this uni in that universe, SCP Foundation, the DLP are just as bad as each other. So they yeah, that's, yeah, they're, they're like, oh, mm -hmm. God. The one thing I'm kind of wondering, is it the advanced 008 or regular? Because the advance is, uh, instead of the host eventually dying, they duplicate and spread infection even more. And their bodies are even more durable. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, we first used D-Class. They were monsters. No one would have missed them. Oh, boy. I mean, we're already used to D-Class being dehumanized, but Jesus. I mean, we all know that not all criminals are really criminals, but saying that is just... Yeah. But we started to lose more and more. And you gotta keep in mind, sometimes D-Class aren't even criminals. That's true. But but we started to lose more and more, and so we looked for other sources. Coalition, POWs, civilians, things like that. The project was more important than any one life. Hmm? Of course, of course we did. We dropped the infection over their sites, spread it through Europe. We had no other choice. No, okay, no, you so... in fact, you in fact had lots of other choices. Other... Than spreading a zombie virus all over Europe. Hey, Hatchet, just mm -hmm. be glad they didn't drop 610. Uh, okay, that thing well, fix everything. Well, yeah. Watch, watch, the, watch that be their next move. Oh. What were you about to say, Adarna, before that? I was going to say, yeah, they might be getting worse than the, the, German, the German party. Yeah, I, th I think... I think this alt timeline has just turned into uh, two uber uber German parties duking it out. This Nuke is awful. It's it's nuclear weapons versus biological weapons. Well, I think the I th I think both sides were probably dropping nukes by the sound of it. Yeah. But anyway, um, okay. The final excerpt is from a coalition soldier, veteran of the raid on site nineteen. We killed it, but we did it. We rounded up the greets, greens, blues, reds, anything that looked anomalous and forced them outside. We told them to dig a giant pit. Most of them were no older than 40. After they were done, we threw all the objects in the site into the pit and told them to face the pit. I'm... I'm just glad that it wasn't me who had to pull the trigger. I felt like you read Hitler A group and Hitler B group. Yeah, that's... This was... Okay. Okay, so this was a very interesting <laughs> anomaly. Yeah. But now we've got this little thing where... um, 
this isn't a particularly dangerous anomaly. Yeah, it just spreads misinformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's 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 glimpsing into a much wor worse alternate timeline, but like the the anomaly itself is literally just like fucked documentaries that can't be stopped from airing in like southern states but they I, don't really hurt anyone but they were really fucked up they now, are very fucked up he, i guess the thing that it could be dangerous for is people who believe like in conspiracies that are actually true that they believe all conspiracies are true and stuff like that they would totally yeah. believe this shit ah uh, so a certain group what yeah the fuck? yeah uh, let's see, the book mentions, though it would give some folks insight into the foundation, yeah, since, like, oh, yeah. the one that we just read led to, like, a fucking anesthetizing of a massive amount of people. Yeah, an entire country, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. So, I mean, at the very least, given that precedent, uh... It affects an entire country, but it doesn't destroy an entire country. I guess we can see certain groups for now because, like, it hasn't gotten to the level of danger and in infecting an entire country to believe in it, but most likely a certain group of people. Yeah. I guess that's the thing. I remember this being based strictly upon, like, how much danger yeah. is involved. When ultimately, like, I guess, I guess, like, this is how, this is why it's really hard to fathom, <laughs> because, like, a part of this is that mm -hmm. information that's this backwards can be dangerous. Like, just yeah, yeah. look at, you know, our history of fucking uh, conspiracy yeah, theorists yeah. and, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. like... Oh, the, the the fucking, you know, particular guy that's currently being held in contempt of court. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's limited to the U.S. South still, said book. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, in terms of danger, like, how do you quantify the threat posed by something that... I feel like the average person would just take as a mockumentary. Okay. But but the thing is that the pe the the people who would be spread the conspiracy theorists who would be spreading this would probably spread it around the country. Oh yeah. Because true. of uh social media. I mean true, and then we gotta deal with stochastic terrorism from that. Yeah. Well, uh, remember, the SCP from this universe is very good at dealing with information. Yeah, that's that's true, that's true. And I, I guess that's the thing, is, like, the only reason why they had to do that anesthetizing was because it was about the Foundation. Yeah. But simultaneously, considering the fact that, you know, the Foundation, the GOC war is a thing, it makes it very likely that there will be more of these documentaries published that talk about it, so there's very likely to be more instances of having to... I still feel like this goes in what the fuck people. here, because... I'm kind of leaning toward that. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Like, it's not causing bodily, like, harm. It's not causing deaths. But it's, it's like, a danger... It's causing emotional and mental distress. Yeah, like, like it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's like a threat, but not in a bodily threat to most people. I think what would be worse if it started doing documentaries on, like, a, you don't recognize the bodies in the water, stuff like that, oh, like, goodness. cognito hazards. Like, if it started showing that, that would be a huge threat. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> that could be... Oh, damn, yeah. <laughs> but that is ultimately speculation. Yeah. Okay, also, it, if it did do a doc documentary about, like, uh, what, what was his name? The, like, um, the, the, the demon god or whatever? Oh, the Scarlet King? King? Scarlet yeah. King, yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if they, they did one on him, they could possibly uh, expedite his 
entrance. Yeah, because con- mm. uh, law of concept. His name is Power. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, but I think this is speculation. So, so it could possibly yeah. it could possibly be an XK. It could possibly be. It could be so many things room. on this goddamn board. <laughs> Hey, Chu. Hi, um, Chu. This is the yeah, hardest Chew. we've ever spent on a one fucking anomaly. Let's see. Book mentioned that, yeah, also probably why it would reclassicate, reclassified from safe to Keter. It was just harmless fun when it was about World War One and Two. but once the Foundation comes into it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'd say, like, given our current amount of information, yeah. and, like, Barring assumptions, I I'd say what the fuck, dear. Yeah, like if it's yeah, so Susan, like, I think even different. with assumptions, what the fuck, dear would it fit? Yeah. Uh, no, if we added assumptions, it could be like, what if the documentary start talking about Peter class SBCs? Yeah. But either way, I I think I think I'm fine with that. That yeah. said, I I will mention that I still very much appreciate that fucking edit of like that's a very well put together edit of fucking Churchill, Roosevelt, and fucking Leon Trotsky at those talks yeah. instead of Stalin being there. 